I'm Jeff Notkin, founder of Aerolite Meteorites Incorporated and half of TV's Meteorite Men. What are those little numbers that you sometimes see painted on a meteorite? And why do those collection numbers make a meteorite, well, more collectible? So collection numbers that are painted on meteorites fairly obviously tell us what they are, but also for collectors like myself who are really interested in historic pieces, they also give us a glimpse back into the life and work of the collectors who went before us. And this is a Harvey Nininger Brenham Meteor Road. That means it's a, it's a somewhat corroded palisite meteorite from the famous Brenham site where we did several episodes of Meteorite Men. And that little hand-painted number that was either painted by Harvey Nininger himself or perhaps his wife, Addie, who worked on the collection with him, tells us what that meteorite is. So it has a unique identification. And sometimes you'll find a piece like this listed in an old catalog, printed catalog, which makes it especially collectible. And here's another Nininger piece. And I can tell right away that this is a Canyon Diablo because 34 was Nininger's catalog number for Canyon Diablo. So this so it says 34.366. So that means, or is that a five? Gosh, it's hard to read, isn't it? Well, I think it's a five. So <laughs> that tells me that this was the 566th Canyon Diablo that Nininger catalogued. He was a busy gent, wasn't he? Out there on the crater rim. And these two lovely little pieces are Odessa meteorites from the famous crater in Texas, where we also did an episode of Meteorite Men. And those are Institute of Meteoritics numbers from the University of New Mexico, K2480 and K2495. So yeah, they tell us empirically and scientifically exactly which meteorite we're looking at, but I just think it's a wonderful artistic and historic moment to think that some great collector who went before us painted those numbers on there so we would never forget which meteorite we were looking at.